Hi, this is Andre, the author of the Layer Displayer script. Layer Displayer quickly finds the desired layer. To start using the script, you need to go to the After Effects directory, find the script folder and drop the script in it. Next, you need to assign it to a hotkey. In my case, it's Shift plus W. The new version of the script has buttons. During the first launch you will see the buttons that are relevant to the active composition. That is, the set of buttons will vary depending on the open composition. To disable this mode and see all functions, go to the script settings and uncheck all checking. As you can see, all the buttons are grouped by categories and numbered. You can disable numbering in the settings. One and the same function can now be called in three ways – through a button, through the console and via hotkeys. The principles of the console remain the same as before. To learn more about them, see the previous lesson. One of the innovations of the console – now, after starting the layer displayer, you can just press Enter on the keyboard to apply the last function. This is handy when working with the function time. It is now possible to change the prefix L hashtag to something more convenient, such as a tilde, an equal sign or an asterisk. Buttons are grouped into categories. Each button and category has its own number. If you enter the number of the category and button in the console in turn, the corresponding layers will be displayed. For example, to use the time function, you must enter 1 and 1. To see only red layers, you must enter 2 and 1. Hotkeys have also been added. So far, they work correctly only for Windows users. At first glance, the principle of working with hotkeys seems to be similar to calling a function with numbers. For example, to use the function time, you need to hold down Ctrl and press 1 and 1. To see the pink layers in this case, you need to hold down Ctrl and press 2 and 3. Yes, yes, exactly 2 and 3, not 2 and 4. When using the hotkeys, we are not referring to the function number, but to the sequential number of the category and button. So far, the script is limited to 10 keys from 1 to 0. That is, we cannot use hotkeys to access buttons from orange to dark green. Therefore, from the aesthetic point of view, it's most convenient to use hotkeys in all checking mode by disabling numbering. Thus, you get two radically different ways of working. The first is more ergonomic. But because of the all checking is a bit slow, and the second is faster, but visually cluttered. The first way is suitable for fans of keyboard shortcuts, the second for console fans. All functions that sort layers I have reviewed earlier in the previous lesson. The link to it will be at the end of the video. The current version of the script has added two new functions. The first one helps you to find layers with the common parent. In order to do that, you have to select the linked layer and click parent in the category selected layers. The next new feature is a function which shows layers of the same label as the selected layers. I want to thank the people who leave feedback in the comments on YouTube or under the script page. Thanks to you I've been moving in the direction of increasing user interaction. It seems like the next logical step would be to expand the functionality. What types of sorting do you need? What kind of queries do you need to search for layers to make you more comfortable to work with? Maybe it should be a blending mode or layer type?